to welcome the wine ladies with Georgia and Suzanne an entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine where to dine anything and everything to do with the vine great conversation lots of laughter guests from all walks of life food and wine music art sports and much more all on the wine ladies Hi everybody, it's us, the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone to the show live here on thatchannel.com. And I also would like to welcome our listeners on the Jewel Radio Network, the FM dial, 88.5 in Toronto, 98.5 in Ottawa, and 107.7 in Hawkesbury. Welcome everyone to the Wine Ladies. And also to all of our friends and fans on Facebook and thewineladies.com. Uh, thank you for keeping up with us. Uh, now every week we have a trivia question. So this week's question is, what are the most planted red and white grape varieties in Australia? So uh, email us with your answer either at thewineladies.com or on Facebook. The prize is going to be a wonderful book, The Rewards of Patience. It is a book all about the famous house, the winery of Penfolds in Australia. So uh, make sure you email us with an answer for a chance to win. All right, so before we start the show, we always like to toast our viewers and our listeners with a beautiful glass of wine. So let's raise our glasses, Georgia. And today we're going to be enjoying some girls' night out, Riesling. So welcome, everyone, to the show. Cheers, everybody. Welcome. All right, so on with today's show. Today's show is all about women, wine, and the food that we love. But gentlemen, don't go away. There's going to be something for you, too, here as well. So how do women buy wine and are their preferences different than men well these are one of these are some of the questions that we're going to be asking today absolutely and when it comes to food what do we like and what do you gentlemen out there like are there differences in our palates apparently there are and we're going to learn a lot about that this, this afternoon as well you know what inquiring minds need to know they do. all these <laughs> questions okay so to help uh lay uh, lay down the stage or set the stage we've invited uh the man behind the brand girls night out which is one of the most successful brands here in ontario we've invited doug Beatty, who's the vice president of marketing of colio estate wine so welcome doug to the show, the man behind the brand. <laughs> hey, that was very good, Susanna. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I, we greatly appreciate it. Oh, it's Not great to, to have you, Doug. Now, also with us offering a ladies' perspective on Girls' Night Out, Doug, we want to hear what you have to say too. But you know, we we need to have the female perspective. I feel marginalized. <laughs> no, no need for that. Tina DeHaunt is with us, multi-store manager for Colio Estate Wines. Welcome, Tina. Thank you. Hello, ladies. Great to be here. Great to have you. And also, uh, a girl has got to eat. She so does. We also have with us brought has brought in some wonderful food items for us today is Angela Polo. Angela? Soup lady. Soup, soup queen lady <laughs> of Soup Queen Cooks. Angela, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's my welcome, pleasure. everybody. Now, this is going to be a great show. We're going to talk all about women, wine, and food, the way we said. And there really are, I guess there's a reason why that book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From <laughs> Venus, has sold out, been like on the bestseller list for six mm -hmm. editions in a row. We do look at things and taste things differently, don't we? I think so. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, um, you sort of look at the labels and I think that a certain type of label will speak more to a man and a different one, you know, to a lady. Mm -hmm. We were uh, fortunate enough to be at uh, the Canadian Food uh, Show a couple weekends ago. We were pouring some of our Girls' Night Out wines and we were also featuring some of our ultra premium wines for the Colio Estate Vineyard. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting. You sort of see an internal dilemma for all the gentlemen that were at the table and we had a Chardonnay both in the Girls' Night Out and then also in the Colio Estate State Vineyard and you say you know Colio State Vineyard ultra premium really wonderful but Girls Night Out number one most uh, often right now at the LCBO top selling wine and top selling <laughs> Chardonnay top selling Chardonnay mm -hmm. and uh, people were you can see in the guy's eyes like oh I, I really want to try that Girls Night Out but can I try it and uh, I just had to interrupt and say <laughs> they I know they what they don't like thinking. little black it's dresses right. <laughs> no, I, said, I know they what you're thinking they could vet it for their wives that's what they could do they could vet the wine for their wives that's that's so right. they need an excuse is that what you're saying well, yeah, I, I, what's really funny about that, and it's, it's a point that uh, as Tina sees on the front lines uh, every day in her role, 
uh, within the company, and that is the the uh, the way people shop is different. Uh, the way the sexes shop are, mm -hmm. are different, and uh, yes. yeah, women mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, spend more money than men do. <laughs> well, especially <laughs> in general, yeah. or we like to spend money. They, they, they are certainly the uh, in the volume wine categories. They are certainly the uh, the dominant force to, to be reckoned with. Yeah. But our our CEV label, our Colio State Vineyards label, is very. Uh, black and old mm -hmm. country style, um, stately, I, if you will, yes. but but masculine, uh, mm -hmm. and and it and it's masculine for a reason. And in that price band where we we would slot those wines in, it's it's mostly men that would buy those, uh, mm -hmm. or would men that would would uh, influence the purchase decision, I should say. Uh -huh. So did uh -huh. the men purchase or try the girls' night out Chardonnay, or did they shy away from it? I made them try it. You made I them do it. it. I said, don't shy away. You're going to love this wine. It may be girls' night out, but keep the girls happy, and you'll be happy, too. <laughs> Way to go, Tina. Yeah, that's that's right. good they advice. If they mama happy, it. everybody happy. Yeah. That's right. But, but that, I think that that's the thing that we, we really noticed about this, too. And as, as we get longer into, the, uh, into its uh, tenure on the, on the shelf, we expect that men will all of a sudden see the the light and, mm -hmm. and buy it for their their spouses uh, mm -hmm. or partners or whatever and that's and that's just what we expect as the brand matures in the marketplace yes so. mm -hmm. now we're going to taste some of these delicious girls night out wines uh today there's three of them that we've got see we're i knew also this was going to be tough <laughs> 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 well, we're also going to taste some amazing food that uh, angela has brought in for us now angela you've designed this the menus according to a female a woman's palate is that right well, now, ladies, we've been spending uh, literally my entire life to avoid all these sexist connotations. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> that would be shamed the show. <laughs> I'd hate to be shamed for all of, or blamed for a new trend. With the availability of so many, many different foods today, mm -hmm. we can pick and choose as we please. I have found, though, um, most women will enjoy chocolate a whole lot more than men. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, gentlemen, once upon a time did prefer spicier dishes. I think that too is changing. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. See, I, w I would never have thought of that. Why do you think women yeah. prefer chocolate and men don't? What do you think that the I reason for that? I think it's a hormonal thing right down at the very bottom basics uh -huh. of it. Okay. Um, oh. We all seem to be attracted to it. Well, definitely. I know I'm, I'm guilt, guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> I need my little chunk of chocolate every single day, I would say. One, one little piece. It doesn't have to be a lot. But now, you know what? It's sort of like I'm oh, not it makes sure feel whether good. are the men the same, or are they just not admitting it? You know mm. what? I I I won't speak for all men, but I will tell you one of my favorite combinations that I've discovered in the last few years is is dark chocolate and a really big. Uh, heavy red wine. It's just mm. a, a magical combination. It's just one of my favorite things. It's it's really something that you can you can limit as well. So you're not overindulging, but you can limit it as just a neat little kind of after supper thing. I really right. enjoy that. Yeah. Now I just want to mention to our viewers and listeners out there that George and I are going to be going to Spain June yes. the 12th. And uh, let's just quickly tell everyone a little bit about our trip. Uh, June 12th, I think we're leaving, yep. right? June 12th, we're going to be gone for 10 days. It's going to be amazing. So I want to encourage everybody to go check it at, check out the details on thewineladies.com. We're going to go to Madrid. We're going to be in Barcelona. We're going to go to Bilbao. We're going to visit a, a whole bunch of wonderful wineries, including the famous Marquet de Rescal, which was uh, designed by Frank Gehry. And we're going to be seeing, oh, the Salvador Dali Museum as well. So lots of wonderful things that we're going to be doing for those 10 days. So please make sure you check the uh, details details out on the wineladies.com. And for a complete podcast of the show, go to thatchannel.com slash the wine ladies. And you can also, of course, listen to the show on the Jewel Radio Network. We're going to go to a quick uh, commercial break now to, of course, thank our sponsors for making the show possible. But we'll be right back. Don't go away. Lots more. Hey, Georgia, it's Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen, so what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny, the rosé. Well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out wines. Hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. 
M Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com.